Blow jab fan. My doctor told me that the best way to keep your sperm count high is Dude, keep nice, so cool airflow. No. And let's let's actually see how these work though. Like, and once somebody uses one, I'm pretty sure that then belongs to that person forever. <laughs> oh, there's a letter. Hi, Sam. Hi. We're excited that you want to be part of the blowjob fam. I mean, that you want to test out the blowjob fan. We installed batteries so you can get right to it. Well, it works best when the exhaust tube is placed inside the underwear. Well, we, we've been using 3DS Max for years, but Peter here is uh, using Blender for a couple shots. Yo, dog. <laughs> What's up, <laughs> Yo, dog? Break it down for how you made those those fingies in Blender. Okay, so let's do some fingies. fingies. So the thing about Blender is that it's 100% free. Anyone can download this and learn how to use it, and it's very good. Is this free? Yeah, it's entirely free. It's open source. Really? Yeah. Dude, that means I can download it. Yeah. Holy shit. And you, and you could replace RAM. I don't know about that. I can try. <laughs> each, each time I see Blender though, it's like, like, why are we using 3ds Max? It's got like all the features and all the plugins, all the things you need, like physical rendering, physics. Basically, we have a shot where Mike gets his fingers chopped off. We filmed actual finger plates in case we wanted to do it in 2D, but Peter went all the way and did it in 3D by modeling fingers. I, I downloaded a hand model okay. from tf3dm.com. Oh! I was, I was being pretty lazy. Yeah, that's... that's <laughs> That's what we do though. That's yeah. like you download the model, hopefully it's already textured, and then you mm -hmm. make it work for yourself. That's cool. What I did first was I downloaded a 3D model of a hand, brought that into Blender. I took the fingers off, as you can see here, uh, separated those, I animated them flying away. And what I did to make the fingers look all wobbly was I did a soft body simulation, which means Blender takes the mesh of the fingers and it simulates it. Kind of like jello, just letting it wiggle. Exactly, yeah. I basically have two materials present on this, which is the finger skin itself material and then the blood material on the bottom of the fingers. Do we want to hire a concept artist? How much do we want to pay for them? How much do we want to go out of pocket for this? So we're looking for a concept artist for the, the beast, we're calling it now. It's important that we have concept art put together for this because if you're going into a meeting to try to explain the movie or the idea to somebody, you need to give them some foundation because honestly, it's your job as the filmmakers to be imagining what this world looks like and then it's your job to communicate this to a producer, for example, or an investor. If you don't have a completed script, you can at least flesh it out with, here's the overall idea, here's a bunch of cool art, here's where our inspirations come from, here's an example of our work. It's a very particular kind of beast that requires a particular kind of artist and we're just trying to figure out how we go about reaching out to the right person yeah honestly the thing that makes this shot work the best is the fact that the lighting was so distinct in the original shot you got like a very bright blue yeah. light and a very really bright awesome. white light on the other side that sells it more than anything is just the matching lighting so what's separating the skin from the blood is a blood map which I made myself I took my little paintbrush and I, I brushed the bottoms of the fingers and I told blender to use that to distinguish between skin and blood only the bottoms of the fingers have blood on them so I made this little weird janky tendon model and then I applied another soft body simulation of that and now we got some weird tendrils flying all over the place. The last thing I did was do a particle simulation for some blood. That's the model right there. <laughs> and, a giant uh, ball of blood? <laughs> yeah. That's so pretty impressive. 24 hours you did that? It took me 24 hours. I did not leave the studio. Seriously though, it's really good. Awesome. So this whole script and stuff we've been working on has been evolving and it's gone to everything from this whole like tether stuff to like space shit to like whatever. It is, but we keep it keeps undergoing like serious heavy iterations. It is still that post-apocalyptic beauty and beast story, but um we finally kinda honed in on the vibe and style of it. So it's like almost like a horror movie <laughs> at first, where it's like people are getting killed and kidnapped, what's going on? Well, you know, so it's like mysterious and spooky and plague-ridden environment. It kind of takes a step or two in the fantasy direction of like a little bit machine, a little bit natural you know so it's 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 not like scaly lizard stuff spitball some ideas here literally outlines silhouettes sketch like doesn't like quality is not key how do you create that like oh like feeling i just think about that you know so like weird head shapes maybe disproportionate in a way like you know play the creepy factor well it works best when the exhaust tube is placed inside the underwear <laughs> it on <and> there. <laughs> What? You just do that. You Hang dip on. it in. <laughs> <laughs> Only someone that lives in Florida would invent when you How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> this. Uh, look, look, look. She's not thinking of serious honest review. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so here's the funny thing. 
Here's the funny thing. Here's the funny thing. This is incredibly effective. <laughs> Florida man. Oh, Florida man. Here's the here's the headline. Florida man cures swamp ants. Carmichael, feel, uh, feel how cool the air is. Wow. <laughs> Just use your sleeve to take the moisture off of there. Just to dry it off, dry off the exhaust port. <laughs> the Star Wars evaporation. Oh man, you're just like a freaking the moisture farm. <laughs> Uncle Ben's moisture farm. Uncle Ben's blow jab moisture farm fan. <laughs> what you up to, man? I spent most of the day just looking at references, doing uh, a lot of silhouettes. Just trying to get a mixture of mechanical, but somewhat like beast-like, like organic golem kind of thing. Not golem like Lord of the Rings, but like a golem, like a giant stone monster. Yeah, once you see it up close, then you see all the robotic stuff. But it's supposed to be kind of hidden, so it's pretty, it's pretty challenging. So I had like, I did a bunch of drawings and stuff. My specialty is more storyboard, but... Do you find it like fun to work on some like... Yeah, like I could do this all day though. Like I get lost in the stuff, like <laughs> all day. Just crank music and yeah, then just... What kind of music do you usually listen to when you do art? Uh, this is the end by the doors. Almost puts you in a trance. Like you're not thinking as much, you're just drawing and listening to music at the same time. Those moments where you're just in there, if I could be in that all the time, I would. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. How's the anime effects going? Well, I've just been taking care of mostly just management on this project. A few shots here and there, like a bunch of sparks coming out here. Peter's actually been doing most of the most of the effects. I don't know where Peter is right now. Check out this dragon he's been doing though. It's pretty cool stuff. Blender man. Uh, this isn't rendering though, so I don't know where Peter has gone. Hey Christian, did you see Peter? I think I saw him go to the back. I don't know, like 20 minutes ago? Oh my god. He's frozen solid. I specifically didn't put the heat sinks there. 